Hello and welcome to HyperDoc Digital. This is Scott. Today we're going to take a look at another fine laptop sent to us by the good people at Lenovo. This is the Lenovo Legion Y720 laptop. Legion is the uh, the new name for their their line of of gaming devices and gaming laptops and desktops. Uh, it's a very nice looking laptop. Uh, it's uh, it only comes in black. Uh, it's got what looks kind of like a brushed metal uh, kind of casing to it, but uh, it, it feels more plastic on there. Uh, and it does have that on the top and the bottom, uh, but it is still very sturdy. Um, looking at the ports on the side here, we have a uh, Thunderbolt USB Type C port here, a display port. You have two uh, USB uh, 3.0 ports, an HDMI port, and uh, a reset. And the other side, you have your headphone jack, another USB. Uh, 3.0 uh, RJ45 jack and then uh, this is uh, the power where the power plugs in and this is for if you want to uh, lock this sucker down on your desk or something like that. Um, other than that there's really not much else to it. Uh, you do have uh, quite a lot of venting both on the bottom and on uh, the, uh, the, 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 the back here uh, to keep it cool. It does have uh, some uh, very nice cooling and it's not that loud uh, really at all when you turn it on. Uh, on the top, of course, you have their signature uh, signature uh, logo uh, for their their gaming laptops. Uh, but other than that, there's really not a lot else to it. Um, it is fairly heavy. It's uh, just around seven pounds, uh, so it's definitely not uh, you know an, an ultra slim book of any kind, uh, and not something you probably want to be carrying around all over the place. But uh, you know, okay, we'll, we'll get a lot, we'll certainly get heavy on you if you do that, but you know, it is a laptop and it is meant to be portable, so you can carry it wherever you want to go. Now, this is not a touch screen, uh, which is fine, but it does have a really nice 15.6 inch uh, screen on it. Uh, you do have your integrated camera on there as well, uh, so you do have two options for a display. Uh, you can get a, a ultra high definition LED backlit IPS glossy screen uh, or you can get a uh, fully high definition uh, IPS anti-glare LED backlit screen both of course come with the the integrated camera um, but uh, the the screen uh, the, does look amazing uh, it's it's not the biggest screen that you can get with uh, you know most of these gaming laptops but but it is uh, a nice kind of in the middle kind of size and uh, it looks great the uh, the images come through fantastic uh, the colors are great, uh, so it's definitely uh, definitely a solid solid screen. Now there are uh, there is supposed to be a version uh, out uh, with a 4K screen uh, that is not currently available. Uh, I've been told that is coming soon, but uh, I do not have an ETA on that currently. Okay, so here is the laptop in its open state, and we're just going to take a look at the keyboard section here a little bit. As you can see, it is a backlit keyboard, and it is currently set at red, uh, but you can change those colors a little bit. Uh, and it is a standard standard layout for your keyboard. Uh, you do have your number keys over here, and of course your trackpad right here. Uh, all of this seemed to work uh, very well. I mean, uh, you know, keyboards are pretty standard. Uh, it is anti-ghosting, um, and you can do a lot of different settings with the keyboard uh, within the Lenovo Nerve Sense, and we'll take a look at that real quick in just a minute. Uh, power button is up here. Uh, so pretty standard, nothing, nothing too uh, incredibly uh, uh, groundbreaking, but uh, it is it is a very neat uh, looking uh, looking keyboard with uh, with the lights and everything like that. Now uh, you do have uh, the Lenovo Nerve Sense on here, uh, and that is uh, you know Lenovo's uh, little uh, uh, okay, and you do have uh, the Lenovo Nerve Nerve Sense on here. And that is basically Lenovo's kind of uh, control center for uh, for their uh, uh, their laptops and uh, their desktops and some of these other machines. Uh, and it's uh, it's pretty nifty, uh, but it, it, again, it's it's nothing uh, too out of the ordinary. Uh, you do have a lot of different options in here. Specifically, uh, you have uh, what is called light shift, which allows you to change uh, the colors on the on the keyboard here. And we'll take a look as far as changing some of these and see it changes some sections to different colors on there. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, here's a, a little bit of a wave that it'll give you. And uh, some of the stuff is, is of course, uh, completely uh, editable uh, to where you can change it uh, however you want. Uh, and you can go in here and edit it and change the different colors for uh, these these different sections on here, of course. 
Uh, so that is, uh, you know, pretty neat in itself. Uh, and of course, uh, you know, in the Nerf sense, you can control other things. Uh, you can turn on extreme co cooling, uh, change some network priorities, uh, and sound enhancements. Uh, all that kind of stuff is uh, configurable uh, within uh, the Lenovo Nerf Sense. Now, performance-wise, this guy, uh, as you would expect from from any gaming laptop, just absolutely screams. It, it does great with with any any game that I managed to put on it. I downloaded a couple of demos of some newer games uh, that are out, and uh, I had no problems, uh, absolutely no problems at all running them. They they ran great. I was able to crank up the uh, uh, the graphics all the way to the top, and uh, uh, had no problems at all. Um, now. As with any kind of, of laptop or desktop that you're going to get, there are several different configurations uh, that, that you can uh, you can go for. Um, so I'm not going to go too much into performance because really it's going to depend on what you decide to get, uh, what what options you decide to plug into this guy, uh, as far as how it's going to look and how how great it's going to run and these kind of things. But I will go through some of the specs for you on this. Uh, it does uh, you can go up to a seventh gen Intel Core processor, of course. Uh, Windows 10, Windows 10 Pro, or Windows 10 Home uh, is the uh, the operating systems available for this. Uh, the uh, graphics card is an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060, uh, 6 gig of uh, GDDR5. Uh, the uh, the memory you can go up to 16 gig of DDR4. Uh, and of course there are varying uh, different uh, configurations of, uh, of disk that you can get on here. Uh, including solid state drives if, if that's uh, uh, where you want to go uh, and, and combinations of solid state and, and standard hard drives. Uh, this is the, the first laptop uh, that uh, comes with uh, Dolby Atmos uh, so uh, it, it does have some pretty amazing sound to it even with the headphones on it sounds pretty great. Uh, it has a, a 4 cell 60 watt hour lithium ion battery uh, which is said to get you up to 5 hours uh, of some pretty decent use um, the uh, we already went through the displays a little bit. Uh, it does have Xbox integration, uh, so you can uh, you can use an Xbox controller just uh, just connect it right up to this guy, uh, and that should work. Uh, I do not have an Xbox controller to test that with, so uh, that's coming right off of the the specs on the on the website. Uh, of course, it said it it only comes in black. It's about seven pounds uh, in weight, so it is uh, a little bit on the heavy side for a laptop. Uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth that uh, does have uh, 802.11 AC for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 4.1 uh, and then the the RJ45 LAN controller or I'm sorry LAN uh, uh, jack on there is a 10 100 1000 gigabit Ethernet jack and uh, we went through all the ports so that's really uh, that's really what we got right here uh, again uh, I uh, as always I had a lot of fun playing with this uh, played a lot of games on it. Uh, didn't have any problems with it. The performance was great. Uh, the performance is, of course, going to vary depending on what you get, what options you decide to uh, to get when you order it. Uh, there are several different options, and you can customize it uh, uh, off of Lenovo's website to uh, to what you're looking for. So thanks a lot for joining us here at HyperDog Digital. I hope this video was at least a little bit helpful to you. If it was, uh, go ahead and uh, give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Uh, leave a comment uh, if you have any questions, and I'll do my best to uh, answer them, although this is a demo unit, so it will be going back uh, in the near future. Um, thanks again, and we hope to see you again here at HyperDog Digital.